Okay class, so today we are going to continue for page 23, number 2. First of all, you need to understand the piecewise function first. The function is different according to the domain. Alright, okay. Look at the first information given here. Alright, the limit of fx when x approaching 0 from the left hand side is equal to negative 2. Right, so we can say that the limit of fx when x approaching 0 from the left hand side is actually for all the values less than 0. So the function that we will choose is the first function. Okay, so you we'll choose the first function, right, and make it equal to negative 2. Substitute the value of 0 now. So, we will have 0 cube. I mean, 0 minus C equals to negative 2. So, this implies that C is equal to 2. Right? So, we already have one of the variable now. Right? So, now we are going to find A and B. Right? Okay. The question says that the limit of Fx when x approaching 0... And the limit of fx when x approaching 2 exists. Alright. So we can say that the limit of fx when x approaching 0 exists. Alright. Means limit of fx. When x approaching 0 negative is equal to the limit of fx when x approaching 0 positive. Alright, okay. So, we already know one of the value which is negative 2. So, here is negative 2. Alright, and for x... Approaching 0 from the right hand side, we will choose the function when x is greater than 0. So, the function that we will choose is the second function is ax squared plus b. x approaching 0. Right? So, here I can say that we can substitute the value of 0. So, we will have a times 0 plus B. So, therefore, this implies that the value of B is negative 2. Alright. So, we already have the value of C and B. Now, we are going to find the value of A. Alright. Okay. The other information that we can use is that the limit of Fx when x approaching 2 exists. Means that the limit of fx when x approaching 2 from the left hand side is equal to the limit of fx when x approaching 2 from the right hand side. Okay, so the function that we we will choose for fx is a second function since x approaching 2 from the left hand side. That means x is less than 2. So, we can write it as ax squared. Okay, remember class, we already know the value of b here. So, I can easily substitute the value of b. Alright, x approaching 2. Alright, and then, alright. The function that we will choose when x approaching 2 from the right hand side is the last function which is 2x plus 2. x approaching 2 from the right hand side. Next one, we just have to substitute the value of x. So here I will have a times 2 squared minus 2 equals to 2 times 2 plus 2. So, here we will have 4a minus 2 equals to 4 plus 2, 6. So, we have 4a equals to 8 here. So, therefore, our a is equals to 2. Mention back all the values of a, b and c. Okay. 
right class so right i think you can try to do number three right okay that's all for this topic thank you everyone and good luck